Welcome back. Our guest tonight is Bunny Hunter. She's a Second Amendment advocate and also a YouTube personality. She joins us tonight to talk about women using firearms. Thanks for joining us, Bunny. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us what made you want to start your own YouTube channel and also what got you interested in guns in the first place? Well, I grew up in a military family, so guns were always around and a big part of our lives. Um, in regards to the YouTube channel, I guess just noticing everybody's uh, priorities are a little out of whack these days and was interested in making guns cool again. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about that, you know, not just making guns cool, but also socially acceptable. Because we see a lot of groups here, even in the state of Texas, we have uh, anti-gunners, various people who don't want you to have Second Amendment rights and say they don't want to take your guns, but they don't want you to have things such as assault rifles. Let me ask you that. As a woman, uh, what's your perspective on things such as uh, the so-called military-style rifles? Well, I, I think the problem is definitely with the type of people that are in this world. It's not anything to do with guns. No normal person would go out and do the heinous things that are happening that we see on the news with the so-called assault rifles. That takes a mentally ill person. Mm -hmm. So that has nothing to do with owning or ownership of guns. Right, right. So what would you say to any of the naysayers, especially the women? Uh, as far as self-defense reasons, do you rely on a, a firearm for your self-defense? Absolutely. So what would you I say to had, those? Those who well, may say that you don't need a gun. Uh, uh, let's say, well, what, let me, if I can ask you, what type of gun do you carry for self-defense if you are a carrier? Yes, I am. I have a 45 subcompact Colt Knight Defender. How many rounds does that hold? Eight plus one. Eight plus one. So uh, let's say in the state of New York, they don't want you to have that. So what would you say to people, say you don't need eight rounds in your pistol, plus one? Well, it's just not the case. I mean, the law-abiding citizens are the ones that need to be armed because always criminals are going to have guns regardless of what the laws are. So I guess my motto is better to have it not need it than need it not have it. Exactly, and that type of age-old wisdom seems to be lost these days. But I don't spend all the time on that. You also have other things on your YouTube channel that you want to raise awareness of things such as uh, sports shooting. Yeah, and just in general, anything outdoors. It just seems to be a lost pastime, and that's really sad. Yeah, so what type of activities do you like to participate in? Oh, everything outdoors. Hunting, camping, fishing, bushcraft, just uh, campfire cooking is a, a big deal for me because I have a huge family. So I was always the one cooking for <laughs> the various brothers and everybody. Yes, yeah, so I've seen some of your YouTube videos, and I think in one of the episodes I saw you were actually hog hunting. Yep. <laughs> so people see you and, and they'll say, you know, here's a, a lady who doesn't look traditional because you think about uh, the girls in the camo and, and all this other stuff, but you seem like a very uh, well-dressed, a well-put-together young lady, if you don't mind me saying. And this isn't the typical view, so what would you want to say to people who think that it's a very stereotypical, it's kind of the backwoods, country girls who are only into this? Right. Well, that is definitely the stereotype. And, of course, that was another reason for me wanting to get out there. People are always surprised when they see me, you know, the, they go with the Barbie doll thing and, and they have no idea the type of interest that I have. So it's okay to still look pretty and you know, shower and all that good stuff and, and get out there and roll around in the mud. Yeah, yeah, just uh, make sure you shower off after you get out the mud. That's, right, right. <laughs> that's great. Okay, Bunny, so why don't you tell us your favorite type of firearm? Well, it would definitely be my AR-15. It's just there's so many purposes that you can use it hunting, and it's, a, it's kind of an extension of my body. I feel definitely more comfortable with rifles than I do with handguns. And we hear a lot of talk about the AR-15, you know, it's the gun that's often demonized along with the AK-47 when we have these mass shootings and so forth. So you, uh, tell us, Bunny, why you love this gun so much. Well, it's, it's so versatile and it has, you know, it's, there's no recoil, barely at all, and it's just, it's a, it's a fine weapon system. So we hear Joe Biden saying, you know, if you want a gun, go buy a shotgun. If, how, how well do you carry a shotgun? Well, shotguns, the thing is with 
women especially i mean they have a very powerful recoil it's painful yeah, have you seen that bruise on your shoulder can i ask you bunny have you seen that montage someone made a montage on youtube of women shooting shotguns and they didn't seem to fare too well with the recoil <laughs> i haven't seen that but i've seen things in in regards to that women shooting guns and they just kind of it blows them backwards exactly now bunny recently here uh in the state of texas down at the alamo a few weeks ago I, myself, Alex, and several others went down there, and we had the first ever rally at the Alamo. Uh, and lo and behold, we were out there promoting firearms use. Do you think that's something good and something we need to see more of in other states? Oh, of course. I mean, we there's way too many of the liberal type attitude where guns are bad and they're scary. So it definitely needs to be uh, pushed on people that, it, with knowledge and firearm safety, they're not something to be afraid of or feared. Right. Right, and how should we go about that, Bunny? Well, I I saw actually on YouTube a young girl, I think she was 18, she was in a uh, competition shooting club, and she went on and, and addressed the court and told them what guns mean to her. And, you know, it's just it's a nice perspective, especially from a woman, and it doesn't hurt to be a good-looking woman and to be saying these things. So I feel that we need to get more girls on this act you know just to get that whole thing going with women speaking out about it great so what's coming up next for you and your youtube channel well i'm doing a lot of uh hunting stuff coming up because it is hunting season yay i'm so excited <laughs> that's my favorite part of the year great and what so do you guys these... what do you guys hunt down there oh man there's osceola turkey deer um, we have white-tailed deer, we have rabbit, there's tons of hogs. The hogs are actually a nuisance. I'm sure you're familiar with that over in Texas. Yes, actually they have uh, the bounty. I think they just raised the bounty on a hog. I think it was uh, about $50 a, a hog now because we have such a problem with them. People actually hunt hogs from helicopters because they'll run you over down here. Yeah, I actually got an invite to go out and do that helicopter hog hunting. So that could be something we could look for in the future there with Bunny Hunter. Yes, if you do that, send us a link. We'd definitely like to check that out. And Bunny, you also have a another site that's under construction currently. Yes, I'm setting up uh, bunnyhunterusa.com. And I plan on uh, teaming up with a few optics companies and different knife manufacturers. So I'll, I'll start to sell stuff like that. and bug out bags and just, you know, getting into a couple different things and seeing where I can take this. Awesome. I noticed you mentioned the bug out bags there, so you're also into preparedness? Yes, sir. So, you know, you hear these, uh, the crazy prepper types, you know, they try to demonize you if you have a, a survival bag or a life straw, or, you know, other various elements uh, just for your own personal protection. And if, if the grid goes down, not if, but when, because you can have uh, just recently in the city of Austin, we had floods come through and many people were unprepared. People have hurricanes, tornadoes, natural disasters, but you say the best thing to do is to be prepared? Absolutely, and you know, the government and social media likes to portray those people as crazy or off, but I like to be called awake. And you know, the, it's not paranoia, it's just being prepared and chance favors the prepared mind. Exactly, exactly. So Bunny, tell us how we can keep up with you. Well, my YouTube channel, and once I get the construction all finished on my .com, then I'll have a lot of other venues. I'm also starting up Facebook and Twitter as well, so. All right, we'll definitely try to keep up with you, maybe have you back on the show when you get your sites up and running. Yes, I'd love that, thank you. All right, Bunny Hunter, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. So I encourage all of our ladies to stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up the ladies. Come and take a t-shirt. Well, that's all the time we have for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. Why is nascent iodine so important? Nascent iodine is so important because it goes directly to the thyroid. It's not bonded to a salt, which means it doesn't have to be broken down.
and it's the most usable form. It's what the body uses. It's what the body is designed to use. If you have low energy levels, if you have pains, if you have thyroid problems, if you don't feel up to par, well, they've proven now that the fluoride and a lack of iodine causes a decreased IQ because you have all this stuff that builds up inside your system and builds up and builds up. And that's why some people, when they start taking iodine, will have what's called a Hertzheimer reaction or a detoxification reaction. But that's a good sign. That means you're detoxifying all that fluoride buildup, the mercury buildup in there, the bromine buildup in your system, and the chlorine buildup in your system. You don't want those things. All of those things have been proven as carcinogens. That's one of the reasons prostate cancer is on the rise, too, is because prostate takes up iodine and the men that are lacking iodine causes the prostate to become cystic and causes the prostate to swell and eventually leads to prostate cancer. There's been an extreme rise in polycystic ovarian disease, PCOS with women, fibrocystic breast disease because iodine is stored in the breast tissue, the ovaries, the prostate glands in men. It's utilized by every single cell in the body. Mm, why does this almost taste good compared to other iodine that tastes horrible? That's because it's real iodine atomic form. We wanted something that's going to go straight into the bloodstream and straight into the thyroid gland. We wanted to put it in a vegetable glycerin base. That's a USP kosher certified vegetable glycerin base. And that product is not tested on animals. It's vegan friendly. It's gluten free. It's GMO free. Of all the things I've done, nascent iodine was just absolutely amazing. So we developed with Dr. Group a double strength, low price. InfoWars Life. Dot com survival shield the atomic nation iodine available right now